Hey there, I am Chris Palmer. In today's GSA search engine ranker video, what I'd like to share with you is six tips so you can start building automated links just like this. You want to start cranking them out? Stick with me until the end. I'm going to share with you six tips so you can start cranking out links just like this that you see on the screen now. So I don't want to waste too much time. Let's get into the tips. And tip number one is use a list. So utilizing a list, much like I am, in order to be able to have submitted links and verified links and be able to start with, have a starting point instead of scraping consistently and dragging out time, start with a list. A really good starting point is head on over to seomastermind.org where you can find a updated list every month. You'll land on a page like this, hit the explore button, come on over here to courses or trainings. And what you'll find here is a GSA search engine ranker list. So that's tip number one, start with a list and you will fly. So tip number two, all right. So tip number two that I want to share with you is a simple one. Now you would think that in order to run this fast, and of course I am using a list, but something I've learned over the course of time is turn down the threads. Utilizing more threads does not always mean that your tool is going to build links faster or run faster. In fact, what I've found is when you're cranking out your actual, when you're actually doing automated link building, by turning down the threads, because it takes threads for this, threads for that, threads for this, threads for that. When you turn down the threads in use, it actually produces, it actually builds links faster for you. So turn them down, like the 75 to 100 range. I used to crank it up to 200. And yeah, it goes fast, but it moves faster when you turn the threads down. Turn them down. So that's tip number two, is turn down the threads. So as you can see here, I'm using 75 threads and I have a super computer that this baby's running on. This isn't on a server. This is on my home machine where we're running this. So the next thing that I want to go ahead and share with you is, and, and this is the next tip, is utilizing a custom time to wait when using, when you're trying to scrape in other domains from the search engines. All right. So something I've found here is by turning this feature on here, custom time to wait between searches. See how I have a custom time 60 seconds? You know, it doesn't actually slow you down because there's so many threads, there's so much going on, like some are waiting while others are crawling. You have a much higher success rate when you start utilizing, I, I use shared and I use private proxies. And that's another tip, like, I have, I'm, I'm always consistently pulling in free public proxies and I'm also using my shared proxies. This way I'm not burning through proxies as much. Plus I'm waiting 60 seconds before I'm searching again. It speeds up how many links are being built and how quickly. So if you really want to crank it up, turn down these threads, put this on 60 seconds, plug in your private and plug in your shared proxies and have it scraping for proxies every 60 minutes. All right. It'll just keep running and running. Now let's go into the next uh, piece of information that I want to give you or another tip is what can you expect to start seeing inside of tools as far as percentage is concerned. Now a good roundabout number to start seeing inside of SEMrush or maybe Ahrefs is somewhere in the three to 5% range. Now, as you can see on one of these past campaigns, you know, 85,000 links were built. Okay. And if I bring this photo up, I'll go ahead and share this with you briefly. Bear with me here. I'll share this with you right now. If I come over here to paint, I took a quick screenshot. I'll go ahead and share this with you. Paste. As you can see, you know, we did that past campaign, there was 85,000 links built and 3385 showed up. So roughly about 4% of backlinks show up inside of tools. So pretty awesome, pretty darn awesome about expect around, you know, four or 5%. This is what I typically see. All right. 
So just to give a quick recap, and again, we're going to go ahead and give you some more tips. Stick with me here. So again, if you're, if you, like, this is imperative. Turn down the threads, okay? Turn up the 60 seconds. You share it in private proxies. That's all, always scraping. Put this on 60 seconds. Turn down your threads. And then also, too, start with that list. You can get a starter list with me. There's a lot of offers out there available. Or, or not, or, and let me give you another tip here. Use Captcha Breaker. But now I want to go ahead and share this with you here. So as you can see here, one of the other reasons why we're able to start cranking the way we are is we are utilizing Captcha Breaker. And as you can see, like we have been answering uh, captchas all day long. I think right now it's in the verification phase, so we're not submitting right now. All right, so here, we'll come into here. We can clear the important messages, okay? And we'll be able to start looking and seeing. Yeah, I, I think right now they're, they're verifying right now uh, because I don't see anything clicking away right now. Yeah, do follow is going up. So the list is going up. It's starting to verify. See the verification list? So it's starting to verify links. All right. So that's why it's probably Capture Breaker isn't solving at this present moment. But here's the tip I want to give you. All right. So if you take a look at this, all right, if you click on this button right here that says SDK, now every now and again, maybe once a month or every other month, here's what you want to make sure you're doing. There's a button in here that says auto improve. All right. Now I do this generally when I want to run a big campaign. Come inside of here and auto approve the captures. It'll probably take about 10 minutes, but it if you have invested the $100 in the tool, another $100 inside a CAPTCHA breaker, make sure that you use the auto approve feature. It will massively improve the amount of links that you're able to build on an hourly basis. Okay. So uh, that's another tip. The other piece is, is if you get uh, this particular tool here, GSA, make sure you're running a web server. All right. It's, it's actually mandatory. The next piece is, is make sure that you're auto approving the captchas. So that's inside of here, like, or auto updating the captchas. So make sure you're doing that. And there's one more piece. When you're looking inside of the features, make sure that you're saving the captchas that are solved. This way it happens even faster. And then if there's any ones that are hard to solve that it's kicking to the side, there's a feature right inside of here. I, I can't click it right now because it's running, but make sure anything that it doesn't solve, make sure it saves that image. You can go in there. There'll only be 20 or 30 of them. Go in there and solve it and then save the image. Th these captures will come up again. It will massively and drastically increase the amount of links that you're able to produce on an hourly basis. So I hope that these tips have helped you out. Starting with the list, turning down the threads, and there's one more thing too that I want to share with you. There's one last tip. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but let me give you one more tip here. Turn down the options. Now, I, I don't know if I can come in here and, and show this to you, but if you really want to crank up the amount of links that are being built here, if we come inside of here, all right, we'll go in here and go to edit. Okay, let me see if I could do this. Edit. What I'm getting at here is turn down the amount of options. So like if you're trying, you know, just simply changing the amount of outbound links that you're willing to post to will significantly increase the amount of links that you're able to output. On top of that, start turning this stuff off. Like I, I, I never ever use the indexing services that they use here. And the only thing it does is it slows down the process. Limit the amount of options that you're using if you really want to start cranking out links. All right. So this is more than six tips. I gave as many tips as I could in a short video. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to GSA, search engine ranker, or anything link building or off-page SEO related, never hesitate. Please feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always... Look forward to seeing you in the next GSA Search Engine Ranker video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.